So, uh, <clears throat> what about if I join you skiving and uh, finish at dinner time? Yeah, we could have a quick look around the shops for some wedding rings. It's not, uh, not quite what I was thinking. But, um... oh. oh, sorry. Oh, I need to be quick. David needs a sticky bun sugar rush. We've got nothing proper stodgy in the shop. Oh, actually, can you keep Pearl while away? I'm taking pictures of David for the cover of my book, and I do not want her muscling in on his oily pecs. <laughs> what, he's going to be naked? <laughs> Men will do a lot for a sticky bun. <laughs> Plus, I might have promised to press record on the camera and join him in a frolic. <gasps> oh, P.S. Tell her. <coughs> Sex deep. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait, what if they spit off? Oh. Oh. oh, Tracy! Huh? We were getting married six weeks yesterday. Put the date in your diary. Oh. Uh, and what about me? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. So, uh, did you have fun yesterday with Pierce? Oh, doesn't have like his own way. Oh, ignore me. And I've planned something even better for today. Just me and you. Oh, uh, what was that date again? Go on. Go on, you go chat. You are ridiculous. You haven't organised anything, have you? Oh, Rishi. Rona's getting married and we're all invited. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. We're the merrier. Thanks, Brenda. There you go. Hey. Keep cooking like this, you can move in permanent. <laughs> but, uh, what are you doing here? Has Lisa not said? Oh, to forget. She's been running this show on her own for that long. <laughs> but, I don't know, things change. She's a very independent woman. Hey, I'm all for that, but <laughs> she used to tell me everything. And, uh, well, I miss the talking. Yeah, well, you're not the only one in her bad books. Huh? Oh, good. <laughs> Feel less lonely now. <laughs> what have you done? Well, I made Chrissy out to be a liar, drove a wedge between her and Lawrence, and he forgive me. Which makes it worse. Mm. So, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm an old bloke with a small tool bag and no money. Will's me oyster. Mm. Do you still care about him? Oh, sorry. Putting you off your bacon. <laughs> I'm charging another thousand a month. Have you decorated since Pearl's massively swirly wallpaper? No, and I don't give a flying fig. If Chrissy wants to redecorate, she'll have to pay for it herself. <laughs> Good for you. I thought you'd left ages ago. I'm all hot and cold. You look OK to me. When are you getting your test results back? Later. It's only about crossing the I's and dotting the T's, these tests. Well, it's still a lump. <laughs> Sticky buns! Oh. And we've been invited to Rona's wedding. He reckons he's peaky. Uh, no, not today. We're doing the book cover. I, I wonder, maybe he could change my printer ink for me. <laughs> I'm useless at that sort of thing. I was going to suggest that. What's up to you? I'll go get it ready. Never let it be said that I'm short on inspiration. <laughs> or friends with bridal underwear to sell. Wait, is that a laurel? Ta-da! <laughs> Do you know, I knew you were panic calling somebody in that cafe. <gasps> oh, she is so rude! Uh, so is this? <laughs> so I hear congratulations is in order. You've set a day. Yeah, well, that's kind of down to you. What you said outside the church yesterday. I hope you're going to be really happy. So, I'll leave the um, price list here, ladies, and you can just bring all the stuff back when you're done. <laughs> Are you off to work? No, I'm going to see Ashley. How is he? Yeah, fine. <laughs> Oh, her. All we've got to do is buy bras. Hmm. <laughs> she suggested we do this at hers, but I insisted on here. Why? Well, I've been saving these for a special occasion, but I suppose you'll just have to do. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Eric's offered me a good deal. Oh, Bert. OK, he hates me. It's a fortune, but it is opposite David's shop if I want chocolate. I'm a big girl. I, I need to move on. It's only down the road. Will you talk to him, Rebecca? Just let her get on with it, Dad. Sam said Ronnie stayed with Lisa last night. You need to talk to him. If he leaves... I forgave him and he still chose to go. 
I'm not chasing after him again. I'll take Ronnie. You need to talk to him. Three, two, one, turn! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't walk. But can you drink? Why well, can't I hear you? This dumb brazier's blocking me ears. Pub! What, like this? Oh, actually, no, my friend. The world is not ready for us. <laughs> this has just been brilliant. Honestly, you are the best. Come here. Oh. <laughs> I honestly just want you to be happy. Me too. Selfish. No, I mean me too for you, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm only taking what's strictly mine. Stapler. Fine, do you know what? Just have it. Do you want to lick the hand sanitizer off my palms as well while you're at it? Did you get the job? No. Happy? Look, me and Rakesh have had this for months. We're used to it. But it hurts Dad and he deserves better. Sorry. I know. But nothing ever seems to change. Right. Me and you. The pictures. I'd love to. It's great. You see? Two happy people. When? Tomorrow. Ah. Sorry, can't. I finally tried online dating. You be careful. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi. <laughs> I was hoping you'd call. Hurry up, will you? I can't suck it in for much longer. Well, will you stop grimacing? You're not supposed to be taking my face. I know, but your expression's making the cabbage look shifty. I'm just framing up before I start snapping. What do you know about framing? I, I'm a fast learner. Check out my novel. It's a dull lot. I mean, we should really be doing this in the house. No way am I carrying ten ton of veg through there. Anyway, Mr Metcalf. What? I love you. I'm very proud of you. That's environmental health! I had to use my key. What, why, why are you closed? Oh, brilliant, David. It's my dad. Oh, great, Frank. Can you call in the shop for me? Uh, what is this? Nearly Naked Thursday. We're just doing some pictures for my book. Oh, isn't he gorgeous? I'm having him in the bath now. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but we're out with Eliza. I only came for my wages. Well, bet Jilly Cooper didn't have this to deal with. I didn't know she had a shop. Can we get a shifty on, please? Somebody's nearly naked over here. Jakey could see this. Uh, he would know how brave his dad is. Yeah. Uh, can't we stay? No. <laughs> Not that brave, you know. Nervous about the test results. Oh. Look, it's gonna be fine. It will. I remember when school finished at four. Yeah, he doesn't look old to me either. Grandad said you were printing stuff out at the beach. Shh! I'm trying new ideas for here, but don't tell Marlon, because, you know, he's in charge. <laughs> Did you see a pound coin line about the office? Oh, Jacob, you've been going on about this all day. Have you checked his pockets yet? Because I would. <sighs> hey. I've got stuff in here. That would blow your mind. Do you think you're funny? Oh, no, I, I didn't mean drugs. You were just the nearest person. Of course I was. No, it, it's knickers. Look, it's just, it's just knickers. <sighs> Men do not like me. You, my little friend, are having a coffee. Mm, yes, miss. I only did this for you. Well, that's cost me 80 quid in stuff I'm never going to wear. <sighs> Why do brides get laced into tight boned dresses and wear high heeled shoes. I don't know, Grumpy. Why do they? So they can't run away. <laughs> Why would I want to run away? No, I didn't mean you. No, seriously, come on. Have you got something to say? Would it make a difference? Probably not, but I'm still interested. <sighs> Look, Pierce likes you, you know, if that's what you're getting at. Raise the flags and pop a cork. Pierce likes me. Well, maybe I don't like him. Hmm? I like parties and fun and wine, and I love you, but I don't like him. 
He totally hogged making that cake yesterday. He was distinctly weird. Why would you go to all this bother if you're feeling that sour? What choice have I got? <sighs> Even if this isn't the drink talking. Oh, he's not right for you. What? If you're like this now, with six whole weeks to go, ah, oh, right. Rona, even you have got to admit you're rushing. So what if it's fast? It is fast. But I am happy. And I am in love. And you have to get in there and spoil it, don't you? Just like you always do. Oh, have it your way. But you're on your own. No, Ness. You are. And that's what this is about. Is, uh, is that what I think it is? Answer me honestly, OK? Do you like Ness? <sighs> Are you really drunk? Oh, she got Laurel to bring all of her stock round because of the wedding, right? So we tried everything on mm. and then we started to lark about. Like you do. And then we felt really guilty because, you know, this is Laurel's livelihood and we've got really good jobs and she's... Poor. So... <sighs> We bought most of it. Oh, then I miss you a lovely friend. Well, Vanessa's not, Mardi Cow. I mean, look at it. I mean, how not me is it, eh? You never know. Till you try. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, yeah, it's obviously not you. It's, it's cheap and it's ever so slightly tarty. OK. So what am I, Miss Jean Brody? Ooh. Did I say that? She called me Miss earlier as well. Well, you know what? I can be wild when I want to be. Yeah, I know you can. <laughs> what do you fancy for lunch? It's fine. Lucky Vanessa, I'll just uh, have to ask her for a description. Oh, no, I'm not having that face ache putting a maudlin spin on things. Is this more than just a spat? Forget about her, OK? In fact, stuff her. I'm not putting this on in front of you in case I fall over. So prepare to be amazed. And maybe laugh a little bit as well. Not in a million years. You're gorgeous. Doesn't matter what you're wearing. Off you go. I, um, I thought maybe if I appealed to him myself... You're always appealing for something, aren't you? Maybe if you were nicer in the first place, you'd have more time to watch the telly. Noted. Ronnie really cheered me up when me and Zach first split up. I'm not excusing what he's done, but he really was provoked. You're treating him like he's a gold-digging thief. Not everyone's on the take, you know. Ah. Hey. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Bargain corner, supermarket. You always, um, take your gun shopping? Well, yeah, if it asks nicely. <laughs> uh, what do you want, love? He's desperate without you. I mean, you're still here, so you obviously feel something. Vanessa, you've bought nearly everything. We've tried it all on, got carried away. Yeah, I can tell by your glassy eyes. I should get drunk vets in more often. Where is the bride to be, anyway? I've really upset her. Why? What have you done? I only said I wasn't keen. And what? Pierce. Oh. Well, honesty is important, but... You see? Yes, exactly. That's what I think. And so's tact. I'm not having a go. I know, I know. You're right. <sighs> Damn it. He's not coming in. Didn't think he was. So then why come here instead of going to town? What if he never comes in again because he's gone? Has he? I don't know, but you've made no effort to contact him. Well, I forgave him. 
Why won't he forgive himself? Because he's got integrity. Are you going to the bar? No. You can sit here and get used to never seeing him again. Because that's what'll happen. No more Ronnie, ever. You get your head around that? Da 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 you're amazing when you're not singing. <laughs> Why don't you come over here? If it's good enough for Tracy and David. <laughs> Go on, have another swig. Let your hair down, don't spoil it. Still haven't had the full show yet. Wow. Come over here. Please tell me you will wear this every day. <laughs> the power of <laughs> cheap polyester. <laughs> I'm a complete sucker for it. <laughs> See? How good is that look? You'd wrong me. I haven't seen David in the buff for years. What does it feel like to have the father of your baby the front cover of a trashy novel? <laughs> it's not trashy at all. It's comedic. Oh, I thought that Pearl said that Tracy was aiming for Tolstoy. That's what makes it so funny. Oh, Amber is going to be scarred for life. Oh, no, apparently you won't see his face because she's put a cabbage in front of it. <laughs> Hang on. Hurry. is a family business, and your place is there. Come back. You can keep the stapler as a goodwill gesture. Well, I'm only saying yes, because it'll make Dad happy. And you're desperate. I, did, <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I, I pity you, Jay. I'll give a chapter and verse about seeing the good in people, and then you walk in with half a full farm dead in your hands. <laughs> Could have been worse. How? Could have been Lawrence. I'm not laughing. Yeah, I've noticed for a few months now. Put yourself in my place. I understand it's been difficult for you. Well, first I find out my dad's gay, from you, if I remember. And then I find out that he's not even my dad. So I suppose you could say it's been difficult. Does he know you're here? No. No, he's as pig-headed as you. But I have to make things right. Oh, it's, it's all for nothing, do you see? That's a milkman again, telling me we bought a cow. <laughs> that never was funny. Oh, thank you. Is he still here? Oh, yeah. You are still here, then? Huh? Yeah, it looks that way. <laughs> I think we should get married. Oh, oh. Similar, I, I, <laughs> whatever you think. I... Oh, good old look. Too terrible. <laughs> and it's even better that you're anonymous, cos it'll get everyone wondering who the man is behind the cabbie. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Do you know what? If you hadn't have elbowed me in the nads, I never would have found that other lump. The test results are going to be clear. Yeah, of course they are. But you did still elbow me in the nads, so... Um... <laughs> <laughs> David, I think you need to see this.
Hey, mate. I can't find it. Can't find what? Jacob. Stop it. Stop it. Jake, stop. Come on. <laughs> I'm really sorry. He thinks it'll be bad news without the coin. Hey, let's have a look. Do you have to? Oh, don't be daft. <laughs> Cripes. I really need to go back to the gym. <laughs> hey. Hey, don't say you're getting cold feet. Um. Go on. You better go and get ready. Yeah. No, no forget about that. Go on, off you go. Oh, actually, you, you might want to check that that's not Pearl announcing she's about to blunder in. Continues in half an hour.